Hi everyone, I'm Jerry James Stone. In today's video, I'm gonna show you how to make these easy sheet pan fried eggs. I'm an egg guy. I like them for breakfast, I like them for dinner, and this recipe shows you how to make them, just a batch of them, a batch of fried eggs, super easy. Let's get to it. So the first thing you need to do is preheat your oven. So go ahead and set it to 425 degrees. So then you're gonna take a quarter size baking sheet, which is 13 inches by nine and a half inches, and generously coat that with oil. And you're gonna put it in the oven and let that heat up for about 15 minutes. You're doing that because when you take it out, we're then gonna crack the eggs onto the baking sheet, and this will just kinda of help them cook a little bit and not move around as much. So it keeps them in place. It's just an easy way to do that. So once the pan has been in the oven for 15 minutes, you wanna do this next part, you wanna move quickly. So take the pan out and start cracking the eggs. You take 12 eggs and just crack them and open up throughout the baking sheet. It's okay if they move around a little bit, it's okay if they're not aligned. They're gonna slide around probably when you put them back into the oven, but you just wanna move quickly. Go ahead and crack those eggs over the baking sheet. So after you crack the eggs onto the baking sheet, just go ahead and salt and pepper those eggs. And now you're gonna take them back into the oven and let them cook for about five minutes. In five minutes, it's just enough time for the whites to set and keep the yolks runny. So if you want them cooked a little bit longer, that's okay. I would say probably at 10 minutes is when you're gonna fully cook everything. But five minutes is gonna give you a nice sunny side up fried egg. And then once those eggs are done, boom, you have breakfast, right? So if you're serving a group of people making brunch, this is a really easy way to prepare fried eggs for a group in five minutes with very little effort, and they come out perfectly every single time. If you like this video, hey, give me a thumbs up. If you like to cook like I do, I release new videos every single week, so please subscribe. And also, if there's something that you wanna see, drop a comment below. See you guys next time. So the first thing that you need to do is preheat your oven. So go ahead and set it to 420, uh,